Okay, the eagle eyed among you might realise that we're coming into Aberdeen rather than leaving it. Um, and that's just because I did film an intro earlier, but I have a new microphone and I didn't quite understand how it worked. So my intro was filmed completely silently. Um, so I'm refilming it now. So we can just forget all about that and imagine we're heading out. <laughs> we are on our way to Den Fenella, which is called uh, by some people the Lost Waterfall of Scotland. Um, so I'm really excited to explore that. I have heard that the walk down there is quite um, treacherous. Um, so the, the path has officially been closed and people are warned to walk down there at their own risk and to not go down there or especially not go down there if it's um, been raining or if it's currently wet weather. Um, so this seems like a perfect time to go because it's been dry for a while, it's dry today um, so yeah, we're just going to see see what happens, see how the walk is, and I'm excited to explore Den Fenella. We're back from Den Fenella and we are currently on St. Cyrus Beach. Um, there were just quite a few people swimming and uh, more people coming down so I didn't want to do any filming to camera. But I did want to tell you about why Den Fenella is called Den Fenella. So there's a lot of like folklore and mystery surrounding this but I will do my best to give you a version of the story. So there was a huntress called Fenella and she lived I think in a castle somewhere around St. Cyrus and her son had got up to some mischief that meant that King Kenneth II really wasn't very happy with him. He was meant to go and apologize to King Kenneth for whatever trouble that he'd been in but he failed to turn up to say sorry. So King Kenneth II found him and he sentenced him to death, executed him, and his mother, Fenella, was obviously really unhappy about this and wanted her revenge. 
So she invited King Kenneth II to her castle under the ruse that she was going to apologise but actually what she did was lure him into this false sense of security, tell him that he, she had a gift for him and she led him to this back room of her castle and she'd rigged a crossbow so that when he opened the door to inspect his, his gift uh, he was actually hit with a crossbow and was killed. And obviously the king's guards that had come with him uh, to Fenella's castle were not pleased about this. So they chased Fenella out of her castle and she ran. And she ran to what is now called Denfinella, the waterfall. And this is where the story kind of splits. Some people say that she leapt to her death. Uh, some people say that she just hid and escaped in Denfinella. But the guards report seeing her jumping into the chasm below and seeing a white bird fly out of the chasm. So they believe that she was some sort of like witch or sorceress and that she had turned into a bird to escape. So I don't know what version of the story I believe but <laughs> I know which one I want to be true. Um, so yeah it's a really cool story, an incredibly cool place to visit and I 100% recommend it. Testing. Testing. Testing the sound. One, two, three. One, two, three.